Hello, welcome to Level Advantage. In this video, we'll learn how to develop a simple timer in LabVIEW. A simple timer can be used to count the time in second, millisecond, or whatever unit you want. So, first of all, we start with a while loop. And then uh, we'll use the get date time in time vi and we'll convert that into the seconds using two double conversion vi now what we'll do is we're going to subtract the current time with the previous time so using the sieve ratio we can compare the time between now and the moment earlier or the previous data so when we subtract we'll get the value of dt now after the fraction of time has been received what we'll do is we're going to add those subsequent dt values to construct the t the elapsed time as we require The next uh, step will be to display the elapsed time. So we'll add an indicator, time in seconds. Now, since this will be the sub VI, uh, we want this loop to run only once per call. So the while loop will run only once and now we'll add the reset functionality. So using the select VI, we'll create the control that will be used to reset this elapsed timer whenever we want. So when the reset button has been pressed, will this set the elapsed time value to zero that means the reset has been performed uh, let's make it readable and that will be the reset button and whenever the reset button is false that is it hasn't been pressed the elapsed timer will be displayed now once we have gone through we are going to test the timer vi so we'll drag that icon into the new vi and we'll be using the wall loop to test the functionality of the timer but since it doesn't have any terminals at the moment we're going to configure the connector pane of the timer vi now we have the two terminals available we'll add the control and indicator respectively now we want this vi to run continuously to display the timer value so let's arrange them properly so that it will be much more better user experience now since the timer may or may not produce the first value what we have to do is we have to reset the timer before use so we achieve that by connecting the true constant to the reset terminal and since it is outside it is parallel at the moment we have to aid the serial data flow so using the flat sequence we want the timer to be reset before it enters the main loop so connect that using the error cluster now our functionality has been completed so what we'll do next is we're going to press that one as you can see, the time elapse has been shown. It's been shown in the decimal. We reset and it will restart again. That's how it's done. Let's change that into different button. Rather than it will be stuck over there, what we want to do is uh, we want to reset every time. So change that into latch when pressed. So whenever we press, it will reset immediately and we don't have to press it twice. So reset every time we press it. Now at the moment it's showing in terms of decimal. Let's change that to integer. So what we'll see is we'll see only the second portion of the time. 